everybody. My name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Girl Reading. Okay, so I'm in my room today because it was like really loud outside with all the jets from the airport. So I really didn't want to like have all that background noise. So I decided to do a reading in here, and I don't have all my decks together, unfortunately. I just stuff right in. I just felt the need to record. It's like one of those days where you just know you have a message for someone, and you just want to get it out so that it's there. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. So uh, we're going to do a reading. We're going to do a love reading. Not financial because this is definitely my financial cards. So we're going to do a love reading. Um, I've taken a break from my monthlies. And we're going to do something I used to do back then when I first started doing my channel. And that is um, personal, semi-personal readings. And that is when I give a reading for a person's middle, first, or last name, and they decide if the reading resonates with them in this situation. So, Tarot with Energy, know that, and um, just to jump right into it. Okay, so I'm going to pick, there's a specific deck I want to use. Let me see if I can try to get it. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right. I'm going to use three decks. I'm going to use my love deck. My Gypsy Oracle deck and my Tarot deck. Okay. So we're going to read about everybody named Tremaine, Trey. Um, if you have like a Trey or Tremaine name, first name or last, we're going to do your reading. And then we're going to do a guy named Lamar and another woman named, um, I think, Ashley. So kind of try to look at them as they're posted. If you know someone named Trey or Tremaine, this reading may be for them. Your energy for the end of the year. Okay, so let's get some energy for a man or a woman or a person named Tremaine. Let's get some energy for that person. All right. Trey or Tremaine. Oh, this card came out. Journey. Okay, some of you guys could be taking a vacation or a holiday. You could be thinking about planning an escape. Maybe going somewhere you never thought you'd be going. Okay, Trey or Tremaine, the end, of the end of the year, I think, remember, but in the year, okay, so this one came out, hope and conversation, um, maybe you are negative or pessimistic about how something could go, um, maybe you feel like something is not going to go in your favor, um, conversation could be about an argument, it could be about a conversation that never takes place. Or maybe you feel that the conversation is going to go negatively. Maybe you're in your head about a conversation that you need to have. Or maybe you're a journey that you have to take. And maybe you're afraid that the conversation won't go well or be misinterpreted. Um, I'm also going to get my book. I have a book that goes to this deck. I always talk about it. It's um, just the Oracle cards. Okay, so let's look at conversations. Um... Conversation is about a lack of clarification, postponed. Something is worse if you had no conversation. Uh, silence is golden. An inquiry about love relationships, a failure to communicate, or a dispute remains unsolved. Or something is withheld. So maybe you're making a journey because you need to have a conversation about things that you can't get the clarity to online or on the phone. Maybe that's why you went on and did a travel. Um, plans for the future will be disrupted. Misplaced hopes or something that hopes to be unfolded. Enthusiasm will be dashed or dampened. Uh, a pessimistic mood as something unfolds. Um, a positive message, someone that uh, you think that it may not go correct. Okay, so why do you think Tremaine or Trey, why your journey won't go good? These cards came out. Okay, friend, doctor, and wedding. So maybe you're going to see a friend of yours. Maybe you're going to see a friend about their wedding. Maybe you're going to visit someone that's getting married. Um, you're journeying to see a friend. So friend is definitely here. I don't have to look that up. Um, it does say doctor. You look at yourself as a caring, loving young man who wants to take care of someone. Because doctor just basically means someone that you're looking to provide for. It says a person that if you're in a crisis, they'll help you. They have a received and informed answer. A person who gives wise advice, comfort, and authoritative guidance to get out of a situation they are facing. Um, it could be about trusting and deciding what remedy is necessary to resolve an issue. So you may be going to help someone that you feel that is in need. 
Um, conversation and wedding. Wedding is here too. Wedding is about a relationship. A relationship that you feel will never be. Wedding is about unresolved or possible love, canceled weddings, and broken engagements, or a love that dies. An ill-fated partnership or a marriage dissolving. Are you going to talk to someone about the relationship? Maybe you're going to see a friend and be there for them as their marriage never takes place. Okay, so this card comes out. Messenger is kind of reverse and thief. So, messenger and thief. Thief and messenger kind of mask me of, like, blackmail. I hope that's not what you guys are into. Um, messenger can be about something that you want is not coming. Or uh, not due to someone, not really due to you, but the actions. Uh, it could talk about superficial or ineffectiveness. Um, it will not come or... It could be if you're waiting for bad news, it won't. Um, theft is here too. Theft is about um, the presence of negative events being ended. Something has left a mark. So maybe someone's having a conversation with you about some type of fraud or documents that have been really misleading or someone taking advantage of someone. Um, you, yeah, it seems like someone is having a conversation about um, maybe they heard that maybe you were stealing something and they heard about you or you were hearing about this person, um, stealing and you want to get to the bottom of it. Okay. So that's a lot of Oracle cards. What is, um, what is the, what is all this? What's Trey or Tremaine? Interesting. Um, I do kind of feel like reverse. Let me see. I hate when they do that because they're really good. All right. There we go. Okay, so merchant and scholar. So maybe um, you were thinking about buying something. Maybe you're thinking about um, investing in something. But the scholar card, that's kind of like um, you feel like someone is ill-informed. Or maybe you're not informed about what you're buying and you're trying to get some information about it. Um, I do see here the scholar part could be about a lack of study or a lack of preparation or a logical rule civilized behavior it seems like yeah maybe you were trying to buy something from someone and they were rude to you or maybe you feel like you were trying to get something from someone or maybe you heard someone was rude or maybe um their negative energy left a mark on you and maybe you want to go and tell them how you feel about them um okay so constellation service and sweetheart um constellation reverse is kind of like something negative coming um Let's see. Constellation could be about missed opportunities or a fluke. So maybe you feel like someone missed out on working with you because they were rude to you. Um, soldier. Soldier can be, or uh, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, service, I'm sorry. Service, I know y'all looking at me like, why she got this book? But I promise you. It, it will make sense in the end. It says an enemy disguised as a friend could be service or someone that's two-faced or someone that's harmful to you or disloyal or a love that's not false or a person who is very greedy. So it seems like you are coming down to meet someone and you're here to have a conversation with them. And the conversation may or may not go good. The message may be about what you've heard about them and you want to investigate. Or you know this firsthand. The merchant and you feel like someone is rude and you want to let them know how you feel. Um, the constellation, you feel like they missed an opportunity because, um, you know, um, you feel like their their motivations are money driven. So maybe you feel like you're dealing with someone that's so dirty. I don't know why you call them your friend, though. I mean, let's see. Okay, so why did you call this person your friend? You seem like a friend. Or you don't see them as a friend. Maybe you do. Three of Cups can be about um, cheating, interactions, too much stuff going on at one time. Three of Cups can, Three of Cups reverse can be um, too much drinking or indulgence or a person who can't keep up. Let's see. Why did you call this person a friend in your reading? Remain or 
Why did you call this person a friend in your reading? Okay, so three of three of pens. Oh, sorry, two of cups and a knight of cups. Okay, so maybe they're more than a friend. Maybe you do business with them. Maybe you're offering them something. The knight of cups thing always got to be romantic. It could be financial. Maybe you're offering them an opportunity financially to come up. Um, the hangman uh, could be about false spirituality, false practices. It could also be about a person return that you like, but they don't like you in the same way. Hangman can also be Neptune, could be Virgo reverse, as it is Neptune, Pisces. Um, could definitely be, yeah, someone that they need to spend time in spiritual development and they won't. Two of Cups, maybe this person means well. Maybe you love this person, but they're just not always correct um, morally. Seven of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. Um, you've gotten clarity. You you um you know what you want in regards to this person and um the seven of pentacles can be or yeah the seven of pentacles reverse can be that you're feeling like this person is either wasting their time or seven of pentacles can be you don't trust the investment will will flourish what's seven of pentacles seven of cups seven of seven seven of wands and the queen of swords so another seven another karmic number Someone is defensive. The queen of Pen queen of swords can be defensive, or someone that um, they're defending themselves against competitors. Uh, what is the seven of wands, seven of cups, and seven of pentacles? Okay, okay. So ace of pentacles and knight of air. It could be about someone that has a missed opportunity financially. Uh, the ace of pentacles can be about materialistic people that make money and it's not enough. Uh, it could be about uh, a financial venture not taking off. The Knight of Swords can be about messages. So it seems like, um, let me see, uh, Magician, Hero Font, and the Strength card. There is someone trying to create something. Uh, maybe they're trying to create the collapse of someone's organization. And it says don't use brutal force because it can really... When you try to fuck up someone else's life, it kind of falls on you too. So be careful of that. Um, this is Leo. It could be dealing with the um, Aquarius. Um, but the hero find is Taurus. So maybe you're dealing with the Taurus. Maybe someone's doing magic on a Taurus. Aggressive magic. Maybe someone's fixing someone's sexual addiction. See the woman? She's got a, like a wrench in her hand. She's up here. Throwing someone's balls together. Um, the hangman. The hang or the hero font. I'm sorry. The hero font. Uh, this could be about magic to make someone leave a relationship. Let's see. What's the strength card? Yeah, it seems like an empress, maybe a queen of someone is afraid of crossing someone's mother. Maybe someone's mom doesn't want you to date this person. Let's see. What is the strength card reverse? Three of Pentacles. Um, yeah, it seems like you are trying to strength break up someone in their relationship. Mm. Anything else? Yeah, you're trying to trying to break them up. You're in need. What what is Five of Pentacles here for? A guy named Trey. Seven of Swords. Moon Aquarius. Star. Aquarius energy. A lot of Aquarius energy. You're trying to do some deceptive shit. Someone is sneaking around. See this? Someone is. It's like. This woman is mysterious, and she's showing you her butt, but she, you don't see who's looking, but she's just letting you know, like, it's a secret sexual operation or something. She's showing you what's on display. She's teasing you, and you can see it, but you, you can't be seen. It's all dress who can see is her actions, maybe. Maybe you're setting up a situation where only someone gets set up, and you don't, but... The star says is disillusionment. So maybe you try to hang someone, you hang yourself. The hang, uh, the star is also about your disillusioned on how things work, or maybe you don't have clarity or direction. The star can also be about a person who is a star, but they're disenchanted or depressed, or they're very narcissistic or or negative. That is a clarifier of five of pentacles being lost or being in a situation where you're calling on God to help you. 
it's almost a spring season for your life, but right now you're still rebounding. There's still hope. Um, you're in need. Someone is desperately in need. Seven of Swords can be about pariah. Um, the star can be about dampened hopes and dreams. Oh, interesting. What is the five of pentacles in reference to the seven of swords and the star reverse? The temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. Uh, those cards that come with it is the king of wands, an Aries, and nine of wands, eight of wands reverse, and the page of cups. So this can be about a man. A man who thinks he's very attractive, very communicative, could be an artist, could be a singer, could be anybody or are, um, Someone publicly known for being attractive or being well known for their creative um, ventures. The Nine of Wands can be very exhausted, very tired, worn out, depleted. Eight of Wands is about a person who they're rash, they make rash decisions. They don't really, they're not very good or they're having a lot of altercations. Maybe they're um, very overwhelmed by those altercations. The Page of Cups can be someone that's very intuitive, very... Um, very intuitive, very um, prophet-like. They can also be someone that you come to for advice or they have self-esteem issues. But I definitely get someone is trying to... Someone's doing magic on someone. Someone's marriage. They're not, keep, they're, they're, they're not hiding. Or they're hiding someone. Or you could be married. You just, this could be someone around you. It could be a mother with the empress showing up. A lot of secrets. Okay. One more love oracle. All right. So, let's see what the love oracle says about your relationships and thereof. Anything else for Trey or Kane? Okay, so soulmate and finances and twin flame. So someone that you know or you met, maybe you're dating them already. The soulmate and they're another half of you, but they're going through financial issues. Maybe you know a past life connection. Maybe you feel like you've known them forever. You're supposed to go slow with this person, okay? And the last two is patience. Be very patient with this person. An obsession. Maybe you're obsessed or addicted to them. Um, there's a second chance popping up. I usually don't do eight, but eight could be a number of importance. Um, someone wants a second chance to try to make things work. Yes, yeah, someone wants, and I'm sorry, he's come up to someone. It's a marriage. Someone wants someone to leave their relationship or their stability and come towards you or on a trip or a travel or a treat or holiday. Okay, so I don't know if this resonates for you. But leave any comments below. I actually leave them open. I close them yesterday because somebody said something rude to me and I close them. I don't care. I block and delete people. All right. Thank you so much. And we're going to do all those other readings for personal people. So you guys stay tuned. See you later. Bye.